the people of KMC. I think this is a very short event, but a very happy one. Um, we all know that our youths are the engine of our country, and they are very interested and very passionate about football and sports in general. And of course, uh, wherever the youths are interested in, I am a youth mayor, I am equally interested in uh, areas that they are very passionate about. Uh, today is just a simple donation of 90 footballs to the zones of KM, uh, 15 footballs per zone. I know it's not uh, much, it's not something that will uh, 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 give them everything they need, but I think it's a start, and I think it will uh, help improve championships and the Nawetan in their zones. We know uh, grassroots sports is where everything starts, and if you want to perform at the national and international level, we must support uh, grassroots football. And KMC has been doing just that. Uh, this year, KMC will begin the construction of seven parks. Each park will have a football pitch, which is going to be uh, a six-a-side football. It will also have an outdoor gym, children's playground, and it will also have basketball co uh, courts. Uh, we will start the construction next month. Uh, the first will be in the buffer zone, the second will be in Bacau, but the five will be also equally spread around the municipality. Also, we have, we have partnered with uh, corporate bodies such as uh, QCell, AfriCell, and we've started uh, community parks in traffic light, uh, Fajara. Uh, you'll see the AfriCell park has started, which will have a basketball court and outdoor gym. And next door will be the QCell park, which will have six-a-side football, and I believe badminton. So as you can see, uh, KMC, uh, our sports committee, KM Sports, we are very interested in supporting youths, uh, especially our sports. And we know sports is not only a place you can go have leisure, but it can also create income. It can be an economic sector, a powerhouse, if we invest smartly in it. We also are aware of uh, the various parks in KM. KM has about, I think, 15 to 16 parks. Uh, every ward has a footballing ground. And we have begun to invest in these parks. Uh, just yesterday, uh, we just finalized an upgrade of the park, but I would like to wait until the event uh, occurs. But this park will host uh, two major pavilions, and under the pavilions uh, we'll have uh, uh, dressing rooms, an area for the referee, a VIP lounge. And uh, this, this park, uh, the, the football pitch will be completely re rehabilitated. There'll be basketball courts, there'll be a stage uh, for performances, there'll be a restaurant and a gym in the park, and also an administrative building and a sky lounge. I think it will be the first of its kind in the history of Gambia. And it is not very far off. So we will wait till that event and we will make the announcement and I think that will do justice to it. But generally to the youths, especially the footballers, uh, we have seen when giving little what our, our footballers can achieve. And I'm sure if all the municipalities around the Gambia and the government focuses on investment in grassroots football, we will not only engage and encourage youths in positive activities, but we will have outcomes that will benefit the whole country in terms of national pride and economic advantages. So without further ado, I am glad to present these 90 footballs to the various zones of the KMC. I thank you all. Thank you.